Hi everybody, welcome back to Organized Joy. Today we're talking about shoes and how to take care of them and give them some serious TLC. And as a shoe addict, <laughs> I love this topic. I look after my shoes like they are people. <laughs> I do have close to 100 pairs, I think, so it would make sense that I do. I absolutely love my shoes. Um, I really see them as a statement piece that you wear every day. So I take very good care of them. And what I thought I would do is share with you how I take care of them and what I do. Now, to start with, if you have not hit subscribe yet, please hit subscribe below. That way you'll get all my tips and tricks whenever I put them out. Caring for your shoes is very, very important. We spend all day in shoes. We trudge around, we stomp around, <laughs> we run around. Uh, we bump into things all the time. They're in our car, they help us drive. They, they part of us and it's important to take care of them so that they last as long as possible, especially if you really, really like them. So here's what I do. What I thought I would do is show you on one of my favorite pairs. This is one of my Louboutins that I bought. Um, I'm obsessed with these shoes and <laughs> they're super comfortable. So I take exceptionally good care of them because they are very expensive as well. Now, what's the first thing to do is the inside of your shoe down here and sometimes even up here will get grime in it and anybody who tells me they don't get grime in their shoes lying it builds up because we wear them all day and if you clean them out every day after you've taken your shoes off it won't build up and it won't smell so you just take a wet cloth and clean the inside of them if it has built up and it it's needs a good clean, put a little bit of sunlight liquid onto it. But if you do use soap, make sure you go in and clean that out and, and rinse it out properly. And don't rinse it out with a whole gallon of water. Use a different cloth that you've just got water on to clean that out. But make sure you get all the grime out because that's how you keep your shoes really good on the inside. The second thing that I do is I will always wipe down the outside of my shoes once I'm done for the day. It's just, it gets dust on it, it gets a little splash of something, it's something food might drop next to it or <laughs> you never know what people drop around. So it's just good to give them a nice wipe down with a cloth, um, with a nice dry cloth. Don't use a wet cloth on the outside of the shoes, especially if they are fabric or suede because you will ruin them without a doubt. The next thing to make sure is your heels. Now, these little guys, they always, well, if you wear your shoes enough, they will wear down or they come off or the underneath of them becomes open and you end up with a, a little metal nail. And not only is it exceptionally lopsided when that happens when you walk, it's also really irritating to hear someone walking with one of their heels off. I can hear it a mile away. That tink, 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 tink noise the whole time. You need to get them fixed because if you don't, your actual heel of your shoe will get worse. I mean, look, you can even see here, I've got a black mark on these shoes and that is purely from driving. Can't get it off. So your heel is very important because you don't want it to ruin the rest of your heel because then you might as well throw the shoes away. Now, along with your heels are the actual soles. Now, these are Louboutins and um, I actually, you can, I'll put it closer for you. Sorry, there's a little bit grubby on the bottom there, but I had plus, uh, new rubber soles put onto the bottom and they did them in red because they are Louboutins. You can get black, um, but it just protects them. And from me wearing these so much, they were wearing down and I didn't want to lose the shoes because I was wearing them so much. So you can have these put on. Um, I had them put on at Levenger's and they're so worth it. I'm going to actually do them, do that to all my Louboutins, I think, and all my good shoes because you can put black on um, or, a, or a beige. So it's worth doing your, your soles. Then if you have suede shoes, I mean, obviously suede shoes, you can't get them wet. You can't rub them. You can't. Um, there's lots you can't do with them but there are suede protectors and it's literally a spray that you spray over your shoe and it will protect them for a few months especially in all the rain we've been having here in Johannesburg at the moment it's good to protect your shoes they'll last much longer you can get that at clicks I think or Levenger's as well then what I also always do is make sure there's nice smelly things in my cupboards so I have these little cushions and then once once every month or two months 
I either spray it with a nice room spray, you get oil sprays as well, or I just drop some essential oils onto it, uh, sandalwood or one that um, some of these stores make. It just creates such a lovely smell and it keeps your shoes smelling good. And then the other thing I do, which um, I have spoken about before, is I either pop little sandalwood blocks into each of my shoes or a little cushion that has sandalwood oil on it into the shoes that just keeps them fresh. And if you do use the blocks, I have seen them being sold again at uh, Leminger's, you just sand them down with some sandpaper every six months or so just to keep the sandalwood fresh so that it keeps your shoes fresh. So I literally, I either pop the wood in like that or the cushion goes in. Just keeps them fresh. And then if you do get a stain on one of your shoes, um, you can try clean it. But my advice to you is take it to a proper shoe cleaner like Olivinger's and get them to clean it properly. They'll know the best way to get it out if it is going to come out. I hope it does. I have created a list for you with all these tips and care instructions. It's called lips, list number 46. <laughs> Did you get that? It's list number 46. It's on my website in the download section. So go and check it out um, and download it to make sure you're doing everything. I also have a Pinterest board that is linked below for you. It's called Shoes, Shoes, Shoes for lots of shoe inspiration. It's more the shoes I love than care. So use the list for the care and the board for what shoes to buy next. And then if you have a shoe care tip that you want to share with us, leave it in the comments below. That would be cool. Um, but yeah, other than that, hit subscribe. If you thought this video was helpful, give me a thumbs up. Um, yeah, and I'll see you in the next video.